and also dispersion simulations at very considered many many situations. Some of them include public transportation, uh, like the infection risks in the trains, in the airplanes, and taxis, locations like a hospital room, the classrooms, and also music halls, and so on. So speaking, about 10,000 droplets emitted per minute. It is interesting to note. On the other hand, when you think, in the case, uh, about 25,000 droplets emitted per minute, that is equivalent to the situations when you cough twice. So it means the important thing is that we always consider the two countermeasures for that. One is a face mask to block the larger droplet. And the second one is a ventilation in the room, uh, which is important to reduce the infection risk from the aerosols. The overall conclusions in our simulation is we always have to consider four factors. One is behavior, that is singing or like speaking. And the second one is the distance among each person. The third one is the type that we are talking or we are discussing among each person. And the last one is the ventilation in the room. Always we have to consider these four factors and we have to take several countermeasures for that. There is no perfect countermeasures to reduce the infection risk by the only one method of dispersion. But also we would like to evaluate the risk of infection directly by considering the interactions between the droplets and the human bodies.